everyone. This is the Spot Real Talk. My name is Tiara. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Ron. And today we are talking about the Insecure Season 2 finale. So hold on, we'll be right back with you. Louisiana, where the last one burnt you. Know that it cool. Wanna show you how I'm nothing like him. Swear that's the truth. You can't try. Alright guys, we're back and like I said, we're talking about the season 2 finale of Insecure. It's called Hella Perspective. Hella so, uh, and this was an interesting episode because of the way that they structured it. It wasn't like how the usual episodes run. Um, they kind of had Lawrence give his perspe uh, perspective of his last 30 days and then Molly and then Issa. Mm -hmm. So if we start off with uh, Lawrence, his last 30 days... It seems like he's been running this marathon with the, the girl, Aperna, that he works with. And um, he, he sees Molly and Issa over on the sidelines, and he kind of tries to kick up his game while he's running. So it's clear that, you know, he's still fueled by Issa. Like, he, he still got some issues that are unsettled with her. Stick his chest out a bit, you know, <laughs> let her know that I'm still the man. <laughs> you know, you still want me. You know, that no, kind of it, was, it was more like... He, he said it to a partner in the, the kitchen. He felt like he was leading something. Mm -hmm. So he kicked it into gear so he can feel like that. Because remember, he was down in the dumps when he was right. with Issa up until right. his glow up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that was what that was about. And I finally get a chance to, to puff out my chest. Yeah, and I think a partner is allowing him to be more masculine and to lead the way, whereas Issa, she was kind of like through with him at that point. I don't know with a partner, she, she seems to me if not allowing him to, I think he has to based on her personality because she has a real rough personality. Yeah, she does. I mean, not rough in the sense, but... Um, she's not super feminine. No, she's not. She, she's rather... She has a bravado kind of... Tomboy kind of feel. Yeah, kind of she does. She's her. really... She's like straight up. And I mean, honestly, Particularly I kind of... that car scene, you know. I, yeah. I, but you know what? Uh... Lawrence was acting <laughs> real. He's acting real <laughs> sensitive and, and, I knew in, coming. and insecure, <laughs> and, and that's why. And she and I felt her when she said, "Oh, let me out. Let me get out." Because right now, Lawrence is not in the best position to be in a relationship with anybody because he still has unresolved feelings and insecurity. Because when he was talking about, and I don't like liars, and he was accusing her yeah. and stuff. Yeah, he I went, mean, he, he went, went strong went, there. Yeah, I, he I went agree. over. He went over. However, he ain't, he's not ready. Mm -hmm. However. I mean, even if he had been out of a relationship for a thousand years, you know, the fact that she's constantly keeping in touch with her ex and she's laughing and doing all that, I can understand why with a fresh, a new relationship, uh -huh. that might, you know, make I you mean, a little, you know, weary. Although, how he said it, I think has a lot to do yeah. with mm -hmm. the fact that she wanting out of the car. You know, come on, man, you have to... Man up. I mean... Well, his <laughs> ego was yeah. bruised. Because remember, Issa cheated on him. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, so he now he's... A, yeah. yeah. And then he has his friends always giving uh -huh. bad advice. Yeah. Chad, yes. and, oh, Chad and them always giving the worst advice. And now like, oh, you got to get... You got to you know, put a stop no, to that. That's that other. You can't have friends. That, you know, the dudes. And that's not true. Because we know, like, look at us. I mean, we are friends. We can right. be friends without it being other than friends. Right. You know, and so... What they were saying to him was ridiculous. Yeah, I agree. And I everything, agree. but and he took that to heart. He's so he's trying so hard to be the man. Like he wants his friends' approval. He's trying not to get hurt again because he's still hurt from Issa. And um, yeah, uh, he's a you know you, you should have seen the stuff on Twitter. Oh, they got, about, on, they got on Lawrence. They were like they was like. You know what? Issa didn't need him back. They were like, he is a soft, insecure little bee. See, and and, that, and see, so... That, but here we go. Isn't that the problem? Because I'm telling you, what do y'all want from us? You want us to be manly? We, we, you know, then we're too manly. If we're, in, if we're a little insecure, we're too insecure. So what do you want? I think the thing is, all of that's going to manifest itself either way because he's jumping from relationship to relationship. Exactly. Because he's never given himself time to heal from what just happened to him, which is why he's carrying all this baggage into the new situation and accusing her of stuff based on his own insecurities that hasn't even happened. You know, she says she slept with the guy, Colin, and they all work to each other, so it's kind of inevitable that they're going to, like, coexist. Mm -hmm. And now with her suggesting, you know, why don't you go work with Colin on his app, they're in close quarters. And so 
he's going to be interacting with somebody that she's already been intimate with and that's going to make him like okay like okay she likes me and she had a relationship with him and all she saw in it was kind of like the the superficial like oh he's funny and he's smart but what does she really see in me it could make him it could spark more insecurity really because it's like is this a pattern with her does she sleep around at, on the job all the time well, and she also, was really cavalier in her response too because well, she yeah. was just like well, we we had sex, but I didn't really like him. Yeah, and point. this that and uh. And that would, in any man's eye, I mean, you know, mindset. Hey, that means you're just free willing. You can have sex and have no feelings behind mm-hmm. it. And I think that's when it kind of hit home for him, mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. for him. He was like, okay, am I just here for the sex? And she really doesn't have a thing for me. There's the, she doesn't feel me or what? Yeah. And I think that's <laughs> I think that's what sparked it more than anything mm-hmm. else. You know, not as much as he's so insecure, but I would have thought... Think he's he's insecure. still insecure. He's still insecure. Well, I'm not saying that he isn't, but what I'm saying is, even if I, you know, had been in that kind of situation, you know, you, you, you feeling this girl, you like her, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. you're trying to figure out whether she feels you. Right. And mm-hmm. if she's mm-hmm. coming off like that... Yeah, he don't want to get too invested just yeah, to be let down. Just to be let mm-hmm. down. Yeah. And I can I can understand that. Mm-hmm. So y'all lay off on <laughs> But either way, he still needs to just be single for a little bit. Second of all, don't mess with people you work with. That's always oh. a recipe for disaster. Oh, most definitely. I mean, that's, <laughs> <laughs> don't we know? Don't we know? Don't I know? Don't I know? <laughs> End of story. All yeah, right. <laughs> keep business, business, and personal, personal. Don't ever let the two yeah, play. Don't mix that. You know what they say. Don't S H I T. And so the same thing happens. We get the next 30 days, this time with Molly. So Molly is a trip. Um, the, the same. It starts off at the at the marathon Molly. again. Molly. We gonna we gonna. I know you got plenty to say about. Molly. I thought about Molly too. I was like, uh oh, this could be oh, a continuation Molly. of our whole discussion. Exactly. Ho ho. But she has already been talking about um, with Issa, and she's discussing interviewing with her new, uh, new firms because she doesn't feel appreciated at right. work. Which she is. She, she isn't. Is not, she that's isn't. a shame. Too. That's one thing I can say about Molly. Molly is a boss. Like her, her personal life might be a mess, but in the workplace, like she is on top of yes. her business. She is a boss, and. I think that she should roll out on that. When you gave me that flaky Star Wars, that, uh, Microsoft I Word yeah, I mean, <laughs> made really, certificate. I mean, you didn't spend yeah. ten cents on that damn thing. Yeah, and, and then I, it was like know, next year. Well, next and your year, your face is going to be prominently placed on our website. You yeah, know what to do I was with like, that? yeah, yeah. Well, you know what you can do with that award. Yeah, mm-hmm. In fact, if I was she, I would have been like, you know what, time out, because the other firm did want her. I'll well, be, that's what she's doing. Yeah. I'll I be think it. you know she's a black firm. And she had a little reservations <laughs> about that because you know we, you know what we know. Yeah. yeah. But um, you know, hey, take it. You know, and show these. Yeah, but she has other options too. Well, that's, that's what she and that's what the, the dude Quentin was telling her. Like, yeah, you hey, you got the answer. offer from the black firm. Explore your other options. Present them to your firm. Give them the opportunity to, to no, no, don't, offer. Don't, and, no. But that doesn't even if you present it to them doesn't mean you have to take that. Offer. I wouldn't present it. You just yeah. see, just you know see what? what they do. Once you get that still, Microsoft still Word templated uh, uh, <laughs> Star Wars, you would have been out. I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, I wish she's gonna go anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's I, know, I would have been gone that moment. I would have said, "This is what you think of me." But mm-hmm. I think what she's doing is trying to run her price up. She like she knows what she's worth. She's right. trying to make them see what she's worth because exactly. once she rolls, they am like, "Oh, we should have did more." Well, to keep her. well, you know, what? and it's different too, also for a woman because mm-hmm. we don't get paid equally like mm-hmm. you do. So, well, you mean equally like they do because they don't pay us worth a damn. Either. I know, mm-hmm. but I, right, right, but I'm saying as far as men and women yeah. in the workplace getting paid. Like, right. we don't get paid as much as you guys. It's not equal. We're not on equal footing on that ground. And so, I don't blame her for trying to drive up her oh, price and everything not. and getting no. her worth. She, she's she's laying the groundwork for her exit. But, she's like, she's doing a boss move right now. And but I, my, my thing with them is, I mean, come on, you could have offered her money. You could have offer, offered her uh, another, a, a, partnership a, a, a partnership or a partnership. Promotion? I mean, that's a slap in the face. It was a slap okay. in the face. And that doesn't deserve another chance or even I, another chance at negotiation. Yeah, I was never arguing that um, yeah, it for another chance. It. I'm just saying I think strategically that's what she was trying to do. Because, oh, you know, just smacking them. Like, you know what? Mm-hmm. You guys are you offering me a Star Wars, but these guys want me in peace. Oh, you yep. would know. You <laughs> yep. would know. As On my way out, as I'm packing up, I'm mm-hmm. like, whatever I don't carry, throw away. 
Oh, by the way, this is what I got off. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's uh-huh. what she's gonna do. Yeah, I, I think, think so I think that's exactly what she's gonna. I think she's being strategic mm-hmm. about her exit. Mm-hmm. But I can really appreciate the show because this is a topic that's like so underrated. It, it doesn't get talked about enough, mm-hmm. and, it and it's all so the time. real. Every single day we go to work and we see it happening. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and we don't want to talk about racism. Nobody ever wants to bring up the race card, but you can't help but see the exploit and racism that that whole scene uh, presented itself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. you got three white men in a room giving this woman a highly educated, highly um, successful black lawyer, a templated Microsoft Star Wars. Yeah. Are you kidding me? That was really insulting. Yeah, it was. Are you kidding it was. me? It was. And she held it down. I, if I was she... No, because she... Yeah, she was professional and stuff. She does. She knows how to code switch. She knows how to handle herself in tough situations like that. And we see how she acts when she's with her peeps. Yeah. And she she handled herself appropriately and stuff. And it's going to be their loss when she rolls out. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they'll know it, too. Yep. Shoot. And, you know, At this point, I mean... <clears throat> Um, I think she even got the chops to eventually have her own firm yeah, and, no, really. and be their competitor. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think that oh, should be her oh, next move. I mean, if she, go to another firm and she needs to get more experience or whatever the case may be, but she's boss enough to do her own thing. She really could. And, you know, while she might have her work life, you know, she's on the up and up. Her personal life is in shambles. Yeah. Um, <laughs> man, she's back at the therapist. Um, and I, I thought that was a good sign. But apparently she's still on the on the bad track because you know therapist she talked um about Quentin mm-hmm. and how she doesn't feel she should be with him and the, the therapist is like there you go with the should or think about the could and so she goes from considering the possibilities to being straight up in bed with this man. I'm mm-hmm. like well, I, I, I'm <laughs> trying to understand. Okay, now Quentin. Okay, may not be her type physically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Okay. But he's a good brother. He's a good brother. Yeah, he's Got smart. a head on his shoulder. Yes. Educated. Uh, he's educated. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Mm-mm. He's not no, bad. He's, he's just not, not, a, not a type. Now, my, my concern here, my people, this is my concern. <laughs> what you going to do with Quentin? Now, y'all in his crib, y'all drinking a little Hennessy or whatever it was, <laughs> and you just snatched the glass from him and... Pounced on him. Pounced on him. I uh-huh. mean... Come on now. Now, you know, as far as he's concerned, he's already told you how beautiful you mm-hmm. were. He's, he's already given you every compliment on the sun. <laughs> uh-huh. And then you're just going to pr- pounce on him like that. <laughs> he's not going to be easy to get rid My of. My boy's going to be in love after that <laughs> first season. I know. And he's she already... Be, she tried Lisa. to friend zone him. She tried to call him homie and run that line. Uh-huh. Yeah. But we but see she, how quickly she went back on that. Well, yeah, because she... Yeah. yeah what? She opened a can of worms by going there with now, him. Is that a whore? Mm-hmm. Or is that horse activity? You know, I don't know. Molly, Molly's a tough one she because is. I think she she <laughs> she genuinely wants. She's a little free. She she's, she's free. very free. <laughs> she's a little free. Very. I'll say that. Um, <laughs> Still can't call it. Can you? Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm I try not to put labels on. Right, I try. Yeah, oh, really? yeah. She's a little so free. Really? Okay. She's a okay. little free. They don't put labels on. Especially it's women. Like, you know, we got. What do we label? She called no. me a square in the last show. Oh, well, you got squarish tendencies. <laughs> you know, but at least Molly okay. trying to get it. She tried. She tried. The very fact that she is in therapy is a good sign because that means she's trying. Yeah. At least to, you know. I think she's misinterpreting the the therapist advice though. No, I, think I, she, I think she's she not listening. No, no, I, I, say, I think right. she's not it's, listening. It's just flat out not listening. Right. I mean, because she's too smart to misinterpret. Exactly. Uh, she's just. She's she's doing it Molly's way. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's all that is. Yeah, and, that. and you know, I think she has she has instances where she wants to try to play it another way, but Molly's gonna be Molly, and mm-hmm. that's and you know what? And she'll be better off if she accepts that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just understand this is who I am. This is what I do, and accept it. Yeah, because Molly. Because you know, right now she's conflicted. She doesn't know what she wants to be. Mm-hmm. And I think that I don't know. I don't. I like I said, she's not going to get rid of Quinn easily. Oh no. At, by any means, he's going to stick around and he's going to bug the heck out of her. And I think eventually he's going to stumble upon the fact that he's being played also because 
Here our girl is getting all fancy and getting cute in her no, lingerie. No. For Drew. For Drew. I told y'all I didn't and I wasn't sure that she was through when she sent that text saying she couldn't uh. do this anymore. When I saw her pouring out the lingerie, I was like, that is not for Quentin. I said, <laughs> she all, I said, that is not for him. I said, she already let Issa know that the sex is pretty much whack. Yeah. You she, know, like she's like, oh, it was, it wasn't, yeah. Well, she called him at a, you know, inopportune moment. I mean, you know, it's. You know, women think the guys are on point. Just all you got to do is just open up. And sometimes that's not, you know, it's, it's not true. true. But it was I mean, whack. And, and she wasn't really, and it was probably whack well, too because she wasn't really into him. Nor was she. It was she, very nor, forced. And, and I think that it, it caught him off. You got to know it caught him off guard. No, well, I'm sure. He I'm was sure already thinking he was on lock in the friend zone. Definitely. No, but it, was, but it still has to be some get. chemistry. And and well, I don't most, think that there there was and that also was why it was wet. And so, yeah, so that's probably why, you know, she, she rolled back to the Because, you know, go you know, with what you know. You go with you Because we, we saw that those love scenes with Molly and Dro were lit. Yeah. Like, he yeah, was, they were. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was, he was doing his thing. And that's, you know, it, it, that's what it is. The, the forbidden ones are always lit. <laughs> but look, whatever comes out of the drove situation with her, I can't feel sorry for her. No. I can't. I no, have no because, empathy right, left. Right, Because you got to, yeah, you knew what you're getting into. And so is she in love with drove now? I, I think she... I think she secretly is in love with him. I think she really covets his his marriage. She wants that. I think she... I think she wants marriage and stuff. And I think also she might be a little demonized. You know? So I'm maybe, sorry. What, what was that? I'm not going to say... Dematized. No. Dematized. Yeah, she no. might be a Is little. Is that like mesmerized? A little bit. A little yeah. bit. Sometimes. Sometimes. The fact that she keeps going back. Yeah. And she sees think, the danger there. It's like. Yeah. I think it's a little bit of that too. I think she likes him. This is somebody is, is comfortable too because she knows him. This is mm -hmm. somebody from her past. The sex is and good. he does. That's all it is. That's good. what I said. Dematized. That's what I mean by that. You okay. know, sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes us ladies, we we can get you know hooked up, demonized. Okay. That's that's what that's I'm not saying that's the a word. New, a new coin but phrase. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, we can get I'm demonized, sure and that can keep you in situations longer than you should be. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. and um, Whatever. and I think that's part of what yeah. Molly's problem. Most I thought she had good of. sense walking away last week, but she just proved me all the way wrong. But she well, with matters of the heart, you know, a lot of times. That is difficult. It's, you can be smart as a whip. You can have all this education, but what matters of the heart, you know, reason and stuff like that are out the window sometimes. Yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah, and it's clear. It's clear. I mean. And that's the thing with this show. It's very real. Like, this is stuff that people deal with on an uh, everyday daily basis. Mm -hmm. daily basis. See it all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can always go to your girlfriends and you can tell them your intentions. But as with Molly, she does her own thing, like you said. <laughs> mm-hmm. So okay. Now on to your girl Issa. Her her last thirty days. What is up with her thirty days have been awful. Yeah, they have. Yeah. I think she she's had the worst thirty days out of everybody. Oh, and leave it up to Tiffany to point it out. You know they at the marathon. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. And everybody's talking about all this great stuff's happening in their life. Tiffany's pregnant and they are happily married, about to have their little weed baby, as they called it. A weed baby. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, you know, Tiffany is, um, sorry, not Tiffany, what's the other girl? Kelly. Kelly. She's getting back in shape and working on her fitness, and that's all great. And mm -hmm. here's Molly over here doing her interviews, and they look at Issa. And, and they're like, like Issa, Issa is, is, um, is, um, is um, and I was like, oh, wow. I'm moving. You're right. I'm like, just leave it but to. But Kelly, <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> she, she had me on the floor. Oh, she was. Yeah. She was like, where you moving? Where you you ain't nobody. Like, <laughs> I said, wow. She said, you need to sell everything. Yeah. Everything. She is yeah. a blunt friend. She's a friend yeah. that's going to give it to you straight. Yeah. yeah. Whether you like it or no not. Chaser. I was just like, wow. Her life. I mean, having to move. Um, Even at the job. You know, oh, she was chastised yeah. well, what by was the supervisor. That, yeah, because, you know, she stepped in to, you know, when the supervisor made comments about the um, after school event. Mm -hmm. And then she said, when the supervisor wanted to check with, uh, was it Frida? Frida. Mm -hmm. She said, no, no, don't check with Frida. It's well, on me. Yeah, now, I... was she protecting Frida or was she trying to, was she trying to steal the, um, steal the show from Frida? I think she was trying to protect Frida because her segregating We Got Y'all was kind of Issa's thing anyway because she was trying to just get the numbers up. Mm -hmm. And so, I guess by 
saying, you know, leave Frida out of this. She was trying to not throw her under the bus because Frida was kind of against it from the jump. Mm-hmm. But it seems as though the supervisor was kind of, um, she was happy to see. I, I thought she was rather well, initially, thrilled to see what was going on until, until she yeah. caught Until, until she, she found out how they were doing it. it. And it's yeah. segregated. No, I don't even know if they were actually, they didn't segregate it. The, the vice principal did. No, they. Uh, Issa said that they had been bringing the Latino kids in on the weekend specifically. Right, right, right. And so that was That's why she was like, well, yeah, but she was like, why are you only having them But she should have explained that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but yeah. it got her in trouble. Yeah, yeah. yeah because she left out a huge gap. As to why she was doing what she yeah, was doing. Yeah, the prince, right. You know, she, she could have explained that a whole lot better. Mm-hmm. And then not have taken that brunt because, you know, the fall. Because that wasn't on her. No. You know, they wanted to do right. And it was just so happens the vice principal was steering in black, yeah. black kids. Yeah. And only black kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what they were trying to do was have some balance. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. you know, she took the fall and... And now... Her supervisor doesn't even have the confidence, confidence. in her to send her back oh. out in the field. Right. And then Frida got the, Frida got the supervisor yeah. position. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my gosh, Issa. So she has to move. Rent gone She's been undermined. Yeah, rent gone up. Uh, undermined at work. You know. Recent chastised, breakup. Chastised. Recent breakup. And then, oh, and then in Issa's perspective, when uh, she and Molly are on the sideline of that mm-hmm. marathon, she sees Lawrence over there with Aparna, and Aparna jumps, jumps up, up, jumps, jumps up in Lawrence up, arms and kisses her. Like, this is her boo. Oh, that was I'm like, wow. At a work event, too. Right. It, that's what because I thought, that's, too. That's, I'm like, huh? You, that's what I you thought, too. You your colleagues? Yeah, that's what I thought, too. <laughs> okay. I was like, oh, my gosh. So, they, they're, like, out in the open like they're dating. She mm-hmm. needed to get a guitar and start singing the blues. <laughs> I was like, wow. Yeah. Wow. That wow. was very bold of them. Yeah, and that's and and then when you're fresh out of a um a breakup, and then to see your that's, ex, particularly uh, you know, since that's the like a stab in the heart. I mean, yeah. and that's another thing too. It's not as you know, it's one thing to have a breakup. It's mm-hmm. another thing to have caused the breakup. Yeah. And see something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. that's even more devastating for her. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's you know, stab to the heart. That's a yeah, punch to the gut for mm-hmm. real. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow. Yeah, and so it, and if like like you said, if it wasn't bad enough that all this stuff is going on, she's having to get rid of all her stuff because it's so degrading to have to move in with your little brother. Like, mm-hmm. uh, who wants to do that? Yeah, he's a smart he had, ass anyway. Yeah, he had all these rules and smart. stuff. I was like, oh no, yeah. nah. and he doesn't uh-huh. respect his sister at all. No, you know, so and he doesn't care. I, apparently, he doesn't care because he really took lightly the fact that she's moving in with him. And, you know, made fun of it to some degree yeah. as they were driving down the street. Mm-hmm. Well, and he was basically trying to regulate at the yard yeah. sale, the yard too. Sale. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, no, you better drop you the price. You better drop the price. Yeah. You need to get rid of this. Stuff. I guess, like, you're not bringing all this stuff to my yeah. house, so right. you better do what you right. need to do to get rid of it. And I really so, not that some of that stuff might have sentimental value. The blanket, she was kind of... Because he and calls, then, he said it was from Target. Right, and, <laughs> and the Brock Pot. <laughs> the Brock Pot, that was that... I, I love that neighbor. He's hilarious. Yeah. But how about Apartment Bay rolling up? I know. And apartment <laughs> Bay was like, I'm sorry to see you go, but not for the reasons that we think. He's been using our Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> and then the part that really got me was the chick. The she old, was like, yep. oh, how, you know, how about this couch? And it just it just came to me and it came to Issa that that was the, the same chick, chick that was the house because you could tell by her, her voice. voice right. yeah. I was like, oh, this is the hoe that was there right. when yep. she popped. And that's why she was like, nope, I'm keeping that couch. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like, nah. This heifer won't be laid out no, on my stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Nah, we keeping that bouch. <laughs> <laughs> the bouch and the brock pot. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so I just felt for Issa this episode. Oh, my god. Oh, and especially when she goes back to ch- do her final sweep at the apartment. And she's thinking that Lawrence is going to be gone because she had called him to say, you know, come pick up the couch. I won't be there. You can come between these hours and you can get your stuff and roll. But she shows up and Lawrence is there. And they have this heart-to-heart moment. They had the talk yeah. that they should have had. Oh, my gosh. Ago. I was so here for that talk. And yes. it, was a, it was a very um, uh, sentimental part that, you know, of the whole show. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it really encapsulated the whole relationship yep. the way they had their their discussion uh heartfelt mm-hmm. discussion i thought that that was the moment of of inclusion where they would come together 
Me too. Get together and, and, Me too. And put aside their arguments. Yeah, they really got my hopes up. Me too. Yeah. I was like. Because, in, in, in fact, Lawrence actually started the whole thing. Mm-hmm. He said he was sorry. Um, and he started to talk about how he felt about her. And, you know, and I'm like, oh, man, that's, you know, it's pretty big of you, Lawrence. I, well, he I, had I, to accept ownership because of what happened with Aparna. He realized that there were so much unresolved issues that he needed closure with Issa. Mm-hmm. And so going there was like, I can't really move on until I settle this with you. But mm-hmm. most men don't close like that. Well, we they know. really don't. We know. <laughs> they really yeah, don't. They don't. So I did, I did respect Lawrence for that. Yeah. And, you know, I, I appreciated that conversation so much. I appreciated that they both shared with one another, that they still love each other. Mm-hmm. And then, and I, I appreciated that Issa owned up and said, Thank you. This is what I should have done. Yeah. Yep. You know, I because more. She, I should have done more. Because she, she should have. She should have. She but here's, here's my thing about the whole thing. And I agree. Okay, one hundred percent. I agree. Mm-hmm. But when you look at the final analysis, he leaves, and you could see on her face that that really—I mean, her heart just went down to her. Yeah, yeah. But they look, got us. Oh, yeah. go ahead, look, go look, ahead. Look, wanna... I just want to rewind to last week because Ron was asking, "Is Issa a hoe?" Issa, okay. and we we made the argument that she's not really a hoe. She's no. forcing it, basically. But, mm-hmm. okay. but she had we know tendencies. she had hoeish tendencies, but we know that if Lawrence would have her back, she would be in his arms at the drop of a dime. And as you can see from her little no. flashback where her whole life just flashed her before her eyes. And oh, my gosh. I, and I was like, dress and my heart sank when we realized that that it wasn't was a, really good. Because uh, when he dropped to his knees, I was I'm like, like what? I was like, yes. Yes, and I was just like, "Oh my gosh!" And then I, I was like, "This is probably his inverse. He's probably dreaming." And sure enough, well, fantasy. And when he was well, like, "I, I gotta mean, go," I said, "Oh." I yeah. knew when when he drops to his knees, and then there's a wedding, and then there's uh-huh, the baby. Uh-huh, I'm like, right, okay, right, that's right. too many seasons. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, right, I knew right, something right. was wrong. But I was, I was, I was hopeful that know, it at least meant that they were that's gonna get I'm back saying. together and stuff. Yeah, the I, helpless I, romantic in me was like, "Me too, me too." And believe it or not. I'm a hopeless romantic as well. I, I know you don't believe this, but that's okay. But I am. <laughs> I am, you know. Okay. I'm a man of my heart. That really, my heart just sank for her because I know how she felt. Like, she was really thinking, he's here. We just had this great conversation. We were mature. We both owned up to our problems. We and said, we still, still love, love each other. other. So, the question is, uh, should he have done all that? Did he hurt her more by by going there, doing that, and then just... Gone. Well, I mean, I think that. I mean, um, your heart. How would you feel? I, oh, you know, I would have been devastated. If I would have been, I would have been devastated. I would have rather not have that conversation. I would have been devastated, but I would still think that there's a little inkling of hope because if you notice, a couple of scenes later, he sent her the friend request. Yes. And I was like, oh, and she okay. smiled. Okay. She smiled when she got it because remember, he blocked her yep. on Facebook, but, and he blocked her because he didn't want to see all the other stuff. But the fact that. Um, he sent her a friend request. Mm-hmm. They might have a chance to start over as friends. Yeah, but friends Lawrence and... is really straight. He's a straight kind of guy, and I, I, and I mean that to say, I think he honestly wants to be her friend. I think, I think they have he, too he much said, history not to be. And, and 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 I believe he he has enough compassion for her to want to be her friend. He mm-hmm. knows that it was a mistake that she made a mistake. He knows that. He understands that. Mm-hmm. I I don't think that his that his mind will allow him to get over it right now. Mm-hmm. And possibly by the time he does get over it, it's mm-hmm. going to be way too late for both of them mm-hmm. because they seem to be moving awkwardly forward yeah. into these types of relationships that really don't mean anything. One's going to trip up and get into one, and then you're stuck, you know. Mm-hmm. And Lawrence could be stuck. I, I can see Lawrence with uh, a, 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 a Prenna. And even though he still has something for, for Issa, He'd stay there because that's just the kind of guy he is. I think he's a good guy. I think he's a relationship type guy. Because I think when he is trying to find his way and he's trying to step out here and have threesomes and do all these things, I mean, that's that, really not for him. No, mm-hmm. and, and, I, he, and he's not built for that. Because right. you can see that his his ego gets bruised. Yeah. Like, he got his ego was bruised with the threesome thing when, yeah. the, when them girls Yeah, that was strictly... That. They were, yeah. they were rude. That but was, they were rude yeah. when they started talking about the other guys. That's a one-and-done thing. Right. I don't think so he, he would ever... No, I, I think that... he He's not built for that. <laughs> and he's not Chad in them. Right. And that's no. why they tease him the way they yep. do. And he... um And then the situation with Aparna. Aparna is... um 
I think he, he likes her mind. She's funny and stuff. I, I kind of like a partner. But at the same time, she's so so straight and everything. And he's a little more... I don't know. Deserved he's a little, he's a little, little more, but he's a little more. Yeah, he might be a little more emotional than he's, she is. He's sensitive. He's yeah, he's, he's sensitive. more sensitive. And I was right. He's a little more sensitive than she is and stuff. And his ego could possibly get bruised with her mm-hmm. as oh, well. Oh, definitely. And I, stuff. And so it takes a hard. I, I don't even know what kind of dude would really be swinging with her because, you know, <laughs> I mean, because if if you're one of those dudes that just don't care, that's not going to work. And if you're too sensitive. That's not going to work because she seems like the type that could take advantage of that. Although mm-hmm. she showed another interest uh, during the run uh, when he picked her up and, and she, you know, they kissed and everything. It, it, it seems to just be many parts to her, and that one part I just don't like. Mm-hmm. And it's that rough edge. She's got. She's really rough around the edges yeah. when it comes to dealing with relationships, and it could be something in her past that causes it. Who knows? But I I just like to point out though because we kind of had this discuss, discussion where Carol joined us last week and she mentioned that you know Aperna was the she's not a black chick and so with with her with Aperna being so rough around the edges and her dating around the office she might not get viewed as the hoe hmm. while Issa and Molly yeah. might and why not because because the, it's kind of like. In fact, it's very nonchalant in their culture. In fact, I mean, in Caucasian she acts like culture a black or whatever. Chick, if you ask me, I mean, she's got that fire like a black chick. She does. Ass. She does. I like the way she talks and everything. She sounds. You know, yeah, I mean, she, she sounds black. Yeah, I she, mean, she put it down like she's black. So well, you you got a good point there. And you know, Lawrence got tore up on Twitter. <laughs> you know, he had yeah. that turtle next to Oh yeah, <laughs> and they were. <laughs> Putting side by side pictures of him and, uh, and Carl, Thomas. Carl Thomas. Carl, yeah, album cover. I'm so emotional. Uh, album cover. Man, they were calling him all kinds of suckers on Twitter. Oh, the guys yeah, they had did. no mercy for poor. Yeah, Lawrence. they did. They were like, okay, Lawrence Hive, what do you have to say now? Because mm-hmm. they was like, they got him looking like a suck in these streets. And Molly got it too. They Molly had her looking it. like the clown. The clown getting ready in front of the makeup table. And that's yeah. how that's how Molly looked putting on that lingerie for Dro. Yeah, they they let Molly have it too. <laughs> yeah, so just so the playing fields are easy. Molly's body though, um, it's straight up and down. I mean, she looks like she's six foot tall. Her legs start at the bottom of the earlobe. She's mean, got a, a strong physique. Like, she's in shape. She's in great shape. And I don't look like she got too much body fat, so... She she's, she's, yeah, she's, yeah, she's in I great mean, shape. I know we live in the era of, you know, go to the surgeon and, and put a little bit here, put a little bit there. It's sometimes it's hard for people to appreciate a yeah, natural body. a natural body. Yep. Mm. Yep, so... Yeah, go on, right girl. Time. Go Molly. <laughs> well, we know... Well, we know brothers appreciate a little curve, and that's I think that's we what like, you're getting at. We like a little fluff. <laughs> Go holler at Kelly then. <laughs> a little fluff. <laughs> oh, no, oh no, too much. No, I, I take it back. I, you know, Kelly is. Um, <clears throat> Kelly's yeah. cute. Yeah, what did you say? I said Kelly's cute. Look, mm-hmm. look, moving right along. Moving right, right. Along, yeah. right. Don't get tra- <laughs> don't travel. Thank you. No, Kelly, you're real. You're, you're, no, she's cute. She's well, cute. how about this plot twist? Um, Issa, instead of ending up at her brother's house, she shows up to Daniel's doorstep. After she told <laughs> Daniel a week ago not to call her okay. ever again. I'm confused. And Daniel let her in. Yeah. That's what That's, I'm confused Well, about. what we were trying mm-hmm. to tell you, Tierra and I, is that Daniel has feelings for he her for really real. He really does. He really wants more from her. So what is and she that's why. She, I mean, this is, this he is, is a, the convenient backup man. Whenever I can't get my number one, which is Lawrence, you're always going to be the convenient number two. Mm-hmm. And he allows it, and so she takes advantage of it. So should she be there? I mean, she shouldn't the be there. She should have gone with her brother she because, like been. you were just saying, you were just talking about how Lawrence and Issa could end up in these yeah, very Issa. sticky relationships, right. and should they decide to come back together, they it's, won't be able to. Yeah, because it's going to be too, too much attachment too on much. both sides. Because you know what Lawrence is going to think. Exactly. The moment that he finds but, out mm-hmm. that she's over there with this guy. Yep. Again, the, Again, the guy him? that broke us up. I mean, why are you, you cheated on me with? Yeah, I was like, I was like, this is not a good That's idea. That's why I said. But unless you just are planning like clean slate and let me see what happens with me and Daniel now, because the thing is, I don't want her. I don't you, want her. You, you, I don't want her to use Daniel. She but, is. But I, I know she is. But I, if she did date Daniel. I, I wouldn't be mad at her though. I wouldn't either. No, but, but I need her to be but, genuine with exactly. him. But that's what I want too. Let's if she clear. does, if she does date him, she does need to be, be genuine. Clear. The moment that you went over his house, knocked on his door, and said you're gonna sleep on the couch, 
you're done with Lawrence. Exactly. I'm going to tell you, when Lawrence finds that out, oh, it's a wrap. there is nothing you can say that's well, going to Well, I clean think she up. thought when they had that talk that that was the closure talk. Mm-hmm. Even though there probably is but still some hope, she probably thought that that was the closure yeah. talk. And I think that's partly Lawrence's issue. Or I could give him a little fault on that because don't tell me you're done if you're not really done because you keep putting the period at the end of the sentence and coming back and erasing things and I don't know whether I should move on or should I be in and stand still and hope for something. But like it's kind of like what like do I do? You, but like you both have said, they need time. They do. They do. And, both of them. And and particularly, uh, Issa. Yeah. She has got to stay away from Daniel if she has any hope. That yeah. it's gonna yeah. work with Lawrence. Yeah. You can't go back to that dude. Mm-mm. Anybody else? Go. Anybody go, else? Go to Nico. Go to somebody else. Right. Go to go to your brother <laughs> for that matter. I don't care who you go to, but you cannot go back to Daniel. Mm-mm. And if Lawrence finds that out, it's done. Completely it's done. I tell you what. Uh, this is my prediction that season three, if she stays there with Daniel. I think ultimately there's going to be a confrontation between Daniel and Lawrence. Oh, yes. I mean, I and, and, and physical, it, it doesn't have to be physical, but it might be an exchange, a conversation. Mm-hmm. Like, if they ever run into each other, there might be a conversation. Yeah. Well, the conversation would go pretty much like this. Daniel would say, she came to me. Uh, I love her, or I like her, or whatever, and I'm, I'm trying to get with her. That's that's it. Yeah, I mean, they almost had that in, in season one after uh, um, Issa initially cheated and yeah, Daniel right. and Lawrence ended and up at the same the, gathering. Right. right. And I was like, oh, is this about to happen? So I feel like we need to see that. Yeah. That has to happen. But they, they didn't, know, but they didn't know each other. They didn't then. know, right. But, 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 that, now, but that's what I'm saying. It needs now, to happen season uh-huh. three. Now, season three. I, I don't think that'll go anywhere because once Daniel, or rather once uh, Lawrence sees the two of them together... No words have to be spoken. Or who's to say he's that going. he'll even see her? Maybe they'll make some random pass. Right. Just him. It might, it might just be a running on the street. It might be a running on the street. And then he might but say like, would, hey. Why would he do that? I wouldn't do that. I mean, he's, well, look at it. If it's just a random uh, pass, pass by, passerby. Remember, they have mm-hmm. unresolved. They still have unresolved feelings well, for each actually, other. No, no. I'm saying Lawrence and, and Daniel, they meet up on the street. Mm-hmm. I'm Lawrence. I really have nothing to say to him. I've already said my piece with, with um, Issa. I'm not, as far as I know, the two of them are together. So He might say something to the effect like, Hey, you you knew that she had she had somebody and stuff, and that and you pursued it. I mean, he, you that, never. We, we know what a man's gonna do. Look, you look, never, look. you never know because <laughs> some men, some men feel disrespected. I, I, well, I you know, but I. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I know that a man's gonna do what you allow him to do. Mm-hmm. I know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if you allow a man, mm-hmm. and you screw on him, mm-hmm. he's doing what he's gonna do. Mm-hmm. I just know that. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. no sense in even going there. Right. You allow them in. So so if, if I'm going to be upset with anybody, I'm going to be upset with you because you allow them in. Oh, yeah, right. that's for sure. Right. As far as he is concerned, I mean, if we're married, that's a whole different issue. Yeah. Whether you allow them in or not, you, you know, you can't go there. But, <laughs> you know, they're dating. And she let him in. And, and more, more ways than one, she was as responsible for what happened as he was, if not more. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, the fault definitely lies more so with her because she was the one that was in a relationship. Mm -hmm. But Daniel also knew she was in a relationship. Yeah, he did. So Lawrence might feel something like... Okay, but okay, that's not marriage. It's not, though, but... It's not marriage. and and Egos are something else. No, that's why... And I'm saying, he's saying that, but I I had an experience where my ex felt very disrespected by um, uh, another man at the job. Because he was trying to shoot his shot, even though he had seen, you know, my um, my he, ex and everything, and so he felt this was like because he wasn't like this n word. <laughs> he didn't even see because, me because he, he, he wasn't through. And remember, we had that discussion. Last no, week. no, not no, no, no. We were too. Through. No, no. Listen, no, you you're um misunderstanding me. He was my man at the time. Okay. So oh, well, at the time, that's a different story. When though. the dude was trying to shoot his shot, the dude was trying to shoot his shot, eat, knowing. That this was my man and stuff. Oh, that's so, a whole nother so okay, that's a whole nother he, story. So he felt disrespected. So that so, he so, should have. As right. Should so have. he was like he was ready to approach this dude. So but all I'm how saying, would he have felt if you made that approach to do? Oh yeah, 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 he, 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 he'll take the issue up with yeah, me. Uh-huh. But exactly. I'm just saying though, 
I, I'm just saying that it's possible that Daniel, I mean, Jay, now I'm going to call him by his first name, <laughs> Lawrence, Lawrence could feel some type of way if he saw Daniel because the fact that, yeah, it the fault mainly lies with Issa. Yeah. However, Daniel knew she had a man and he might feel like, well, you knew that she had a man and you still pursued yeah. it. And that's all I'm saying. That could happen. I would like to, either way. I don't care how it happens. I just want to see it go down. Right, right. <laughs> I doubt it because I, I don't, I don't see Lawrence as being uh, confrontational at all. Uh, it, it's not, it doesn't have to be. Um, it could just be him trying to just have a conversation, it, and exactly. it turns confrontation. Exactly. Though. But what, what, what does that gain for him? I mean, he's closure. already, he already had closure. He went to her. He, he poured out his heart, and he mm -hmm. said. Goodbye. I know, but That's we keep closure. seeing Lawrence trying to buck up. Like, he's trying to be something that he's not. Was right. sleeping around and trying to prove himself to the fellas. He wasn't. And all. I mean, that one time with the this threesome thing, and I think that was just uh, in the moment, uh, bravado kind of thing. Yeah. That a guy it, would it be, was, yeah. could mm -hmm. get himself caught in into if given the same circumstances under the same situation. I, I don't even count that. As far as him, uh, uh, Lawrence dealing with Tasha... I think he was really trying to um, have a, a relationship. I think he really wanted to establish a relationship with Tasha. But I think as the relationship went on, Tasha days and weeks, on. he he really yeah, he understood. <laughs> this isn't for uh, me. It wasn't equal footing. Um, she stroked his ego. Exactly mm -hmm. right. And everything. Yeah. And so that's what he needed at the time. And but at the men, same time, like... I think, and, and nothing against Tasha, but I think Tasha may have been a little bit too ghetto for him. Oh, definitely. Oh, you know, and stuff. You know, a lot of it like too he, ghetto. Yeah, yeah he yeah. was like yeah. the family thing. Yeah. He was feeling out of his element. He went to Georgetown. Exactly. Yeah. He's that, like, nah. That's not his, not his scene. Mm -hmm. and, and particularly when her cousin or friend yeah. or whoever it was, hey, nigga. Yeah. Oh, you're a rules following. Yeah. 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 So, so, yeah. So he's like, like, no. He's right. like, I got something to do with the job. Yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> Let me bounce. Yeah. Okay, so we kind of got our early predictions out for season three. And I, I personally think HBO needs to do a full 10 episode season. Mm -hmm. They need to extend it to like at least 45 minutes, an exactly. hour or something. I'm always left wanting more at the end of the show. Yeah, it ends yes. awkwardly. I mean, uh, even this last one. Just done. Yeah. And I know uh, they have their little show within a show. <laughs> Ron feels some kind of way about, <laughs> about the slave well, show. Yeah. I'm not over slavery yet. And then you come up with Do North. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. <laughs> this comedy about slavery, uh, I sat there really, first I was in amazement. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I'm sitting there looking. Do North is something else for real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was scratching my head on that. And, like, yeah. and Regina Hall is my girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, and I'm like, Regina. And Scott, Scott Foley from Scandal. Scandal. Is in it and As a massa. I'm like, smack him up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I it, felt, was, it was. I, I did not want to see my girl in that role. Yeah, that it was just very awkwardly. But placed. I tried. You I did gave a little a research, though. Yeah, I gave a little research. It, it started out as a <laughs> as a writer's uh, uh, room um, joke. It, it, they were just kind of actually there was some sort of relationship going on in in the writer's room, and it just kind of blossomed into this do north. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, maybe they should have kept that in the yeah, writer's room. Yeah, that's probably should have said. It's funny, so but random. HBO, you know. Green like you know the the project and there it is and it you know these and the other thing about the show that was a little awkward for me is there were like many episodes within the show. Mm -hmm. I was gonna know. say yeah. that was prominently placed in the yep. show because everybody was watching it. They were um each other watch party, watch party, and even Chad and um yeah Lauren and Lawrence and Derek was watching. Right, 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 right. right. I, <laughs> uh, I'm not through with slavery yet. <laughs> I, mean, I don't wear it on my shoulder like a, you know, on my chest like a badge, but yeah, these I are very sensitive times too. I do see, <laughs> yeah. right? And then we got Trump uh, in office. The protests in St. Louis. Yeah, Bro it's a lot oh, going on. Gracious, you know, yeah. and so that was brave of them. <laughs> really brave, HBO. Yeah. Really brave. Really well, brave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Y'all want to see more Do North in season three? <laughs> I'd like to see it do south. <laughs> you done with Do North? <laughs> I'm done with Do North. Okay. Let me go south. Move down. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I like the um the placement of some of the 
the shirts and stuff that they were wearing. Oh too. yeah, the like, wardrobe um, is amazing. Molly had a um a Trayvon mm-hmm. Martin shirt on and stuff, which I thought was really dope. Mm-hmm. And um, Issa in the opening scene, she had a niggas uh sweatshirt <laughs> yeah. and stuff, and I was like, that's really provocative and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I um. They're constantly making statements mm-hmm. throughout the show. And plus, the show has a dope soundtrack. That oh, soundtrack my is fire. From yes, the album, it The is. Sands by, um, who was that? Um, uh, uh, Emily Sand, yeah. Um, oh, I said I would not forget the name. <laughs> yeah, oh. I know. Yeah, she's dope. Oh, she's that, dope. Oh, she is really I, and, I, and you should have known that the soundtrack was going to be dope because Raphael Sadiq mm-hmm. is awesome. And I see him live. And I think Solange has And Solange, too. Solange knows as a a music consultant. I mean, so this soundtrack is fire. I listen to a lot of the songs that I've discovered on Insecure, Mm -hmm. um, you know, offline. And the regular playlist. When this is over, I'm buying it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, it's already dropped. It's fire. I'm buying it. And, you know, since you were talking about the social issues, this episode also brought up another social issue about the gentrification going on in Iwood. (laughs) Iwood. Iwood. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we see that all the time around in, in the DMV area. Yeah, it's especially very DC. prominent. That's why Do North has to go south. <laughs> Frida called it Inglewood. Yeah, I she would. said she called it Iwood, and, and Issa was like, nope, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. And you could tell, because when Issa was talking to the woman on the street, and she was like, but what happened to mm-hmm. such and such? And the woman was like, yeah, we're getting, she's all happy. Issa's like, no, I'm not riding with and you. And we, we know full well, because, when you, you know, D.C. has Starbucks changed. Starbucks popping up. You D.C. has changed Whole radically. Foods and Harris Teeters, and like, where was this when we was when we was here? Yeah, when yeah. It was Chocolate City. When yes. it was, DC was Chocolate City. Uh-huh. You know, you it's know, very we like, diverse, and we, we like and Starbucks we, too, and we love it. But uh, DC Chocolate City, no more. <laughs> they barely could put a Seven Eleven down in DC. Uh-huh. Mm. We got doggy parks and stuff. <laughs> yeah, DC. We do. Yes, you do. Yes, Times you do. is changing. <laughs> Well, I think that, you know, uh, season two was great. I'm looking forward to season three. Hopefully they don't have a long hiatus because I'm anxiously awaiting. Yes, I would like to see it. Um, I will turn off due north. <laughs> um, I just, you know, hey, it, it, I, I think, you know, something for everybody. Somebody's going to love it. Mm-hmm. I know you all, y'all might like it. <laughs> I, I don't know. But. All right. Well, I think that this was a very productive conversation. Um, I think that Issa has kind of gotten a little uh, closure. Lawrence has too. We'll see what happens in season three. So, um, you guys, make sure that you comment and let us know how you felt about the season two finale. Um, you know, make sure you follow us on Instagram, on uh, Facebook. We're also on Twitter at the Spot Real Talk, and we love to see your conversations inside of the comments on YouTube. We love to respond to you. We love to <laughs> just see you guys go at it with each other. And when you go ahead with us, too. Right, 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 and with right, us, right. right. And also, let us know if there's any other shows that you would like to see I was us about to say that. That's it. Yep. Yeah. That's the or biggest even, thing. Or even um, topics, you topics like that you topics might want us to, to discuss. Bring up. We're happy to yeah, do that, too. We, we are, really. I mean, it's a long time for uh, before power. Oh, yeah. Yes. So we got a lot to cover. Yes. <laughs> so please, don't be shy. Let us know what's on your mind. Please do. And please keep up with us. We're going to have a lot of exciting things. We're going to keep the good topics flowing. Make sure you subscribe so that you can get notified when we post new things. Um, and I guess until we come back with you guys again, um, stick with us. My name is Tierra. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Mark. And we are the Spot Real Talk. So hang with us and we'll come back with more great recaps. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.